Hey guys, I'm Cody, the editor behind Past Life Pro. In this Minecraft shader tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to add descriptions to settings tabs using the en underscore us dot lang file for the shader options menu. This is a continuation of my last tutorial, which was about renaming settings using the en underscore us dot lang, so if you haven't seen that one, I think you'd benefit from checking it out. Anyways, creating descriptions. This is what I mean. If you hover your mouse cursor over a sub tab or an effects tab, a box will show up, giving you some information about what you're hovering over. This is a description, if you didn't already know, and I want to teach you how to add these in or change existing ones. For this tutorial, I'll be using the SUS Renewed V1.0.1, but you can use any shader that you like, provided it has an en underscore us lang code file. Alright, let's get started. Navigate to and open the en underscore us lang in whatever shader you are using. When it comes to creating descriptions for any tab you want in the shader options menu, you'll be mainly using code that's right in front of you, but you'll be adding a dot comment towards the end. Let me show you. For the post processing settings tab specifically, I'm going to give it a description since it currently doesn't have one. I know the code I want is on line 74. But the only reason I know that is because I'm the one in charge of making this tutorial. Haha! <laughs> so, in the beginning, before you possess such knowledge, you'd search the en underscore us.lang for the text that you see in game. Type Ctrl F to bring up this search box. I'm going to type in post dash processing settings. And don't worry about those three extra dots. From there, you'll be brought to the line of code you're after. Being in the presence of the screen dot post processing equals line of code is critical because we'll need that in order to type out our description. Let's do this. I'm going to make a new line below and type out screen dot post processing dot comment equals. What comes after the equals sign is your description for the post processing settings tab in Minecraft. I'm going to type out for a brick, he flew pretty good. Save and refresh the shader. Pretty cool, right? The tab now has my awesome description. And this can also be done on effects tabs too, of which already have a description present. Let's head into the post processing settings menu and stop at the bloom strength tab. Yes, it has a description, but I want it to be something more powerful sounding. Like before, search the code file for bloom strength and we're brought to line 42. If you'll notice, I didn't tell you to search for the existing description, or comment as we can also call it, because in the SUS Renewed V1.0.1, Sonic Ether seems to prefer setting up the descriptions within their respective .fsh files. I suppose that is personal preference, but to summarize, I'd recommend you never search for descriptions themselves. You'll have far more luck searching for the effects names you see in game, so don't worry about it. Anyways, I'm going to create a line below and type out option.bloom underscore amount dot comment equals with a description of We shall cut into the heart of this infestation, retrieve the icon, and burn any flood that stand in our way. Save and refresh the shader. As you can see in the shader options menu, the text that I want is now visible. Though hey, how did I get way to turn red? Well, no worries, I'll let you know right now. Adding an exclamation mark to the end of your sentence will turn your entire sentence red, though it does depend on how much text you wrote. For me, I wrote a lot, and since I wrote so much, the red text ended up capping itself out at just way. If I removed a bunch of the text, the red would suddenly expand throughout the entire sentence. It's a little strange to be sure. Oh and yes, it is worth noting that if you put the exclamation mark after a sentence and continue to keep typing away, it will not turn red. The exclamation mark must be at the end of the entire description. And also, when you add periods to the end of your sentences, the shader will then show the new sentence after the period after a new dash. I'll show you an example in Minecraft right here. It's best to keep this in mind when you're organizing your words because it is a really cool feature. And before I draw this tutorial to a close, 
you are able to make descriptions just like I showed you here in the en underscore us lang, but instead within the original text file that the code is located in. Just what would be different is you would type the text after two forward slashes, like you see here in my example. This is the method used for descriptions for all menu tabs and effects tabs throughout the sous shader. I would not recommend doing this, because as you may have caught on, the dot comment code that we make in the en underscore us lang will overwrite what was previously present. So in short, add in or update descriptions via the en underscore us lang and not the original code. It's less confusing and you don't have to really go searching for any lines of code. It's a win-win in my book. My friends, thank you for joining me on this tutorial, and do stay tuned for Friday, where I'll be teaching you how to create graphics preset profiles that you can select in the shader options menu. You won't want to miss it. Hey guys, thanks for watching this Minecraft shader tutorial. If you appreciate my work and want to support me financially, then consider supporting me on Patreon. If you want Past Life Pro to continue providing you with awesome Minecraft cinematic and tutorial content far into the future, then here's a way you can help me out on that journey. More Minecraft shader tutorials are on the way, coming every week Friday. So if you don't want to miss those, then do hit that subscribe button. It's free. If you have any suggestions for future videos, then let me know in the comment section down below. Anyways, I'm Cody, and this is Past Life Pro, where creativity is always a part of my life, as it will be for yours. Alright, see you guys.